This little feller from Pakistan, uh, is he still in prison? Cause if he is, that was a long time ago and I, I think he's probably been in prison for a reasonable amount of time. Um, I think he's probably one of those people that to his country, he's a pretty good man. Uh, to us, he's, he's someone that released a virus that's that bad. Uh, I, I know that I, rec I recommended the government go and check that guy out. Um, anyways, so what I actually want to talk about real quick um, <clears throat> is the Constitution and these constitutional law professors that um, are breaking the Constitution for, for what reason exactly? Um, to kill me because they, they think this technology is so scary so they don't have to follow the Constitution with me because I have future technology but in reality I made this country and if there's anyone that didn't make this country it's Jim Nakasone and so it's like alright pretty brave like how in the hell did y'all pick that guy it's like it's like someone that never took a history class that was written by someone other than a fascist picked General Nakasone and it's really hard to explain how when, you're, when your education comes from fascists, you turn to a fascist. So I understand how some people are going, all right, uh, you're, you're not ever going to pick a, a justice that had, has a voting record um, that is pro-life. And uh, yes, that is true. And I do understand people change, but if I'm picking a justice, I'm picking an old justice. I'm not picking a young one. And I'm picking a diverse cast. I'm going to pick all different ages, all different gender, all different race. I'm going to pick all different colleges. We're going to have a renaissance of knowledge in the Supreme Court. We're going to actually have a lawyer that had a professor that the other, other people didn't have. Can you imagine that? Oh, my God. It's crazy. Why, why in the hell would you want a, a, a bunch of lawyers making decisions for everyone to have learned from different professors? I don't know. Honestly... I think that I'd, I'd have to be a Harvard person to figure out why you'd have to worry about uh, people that have only been educated through the exact same classes that are basically repeated year after year. Because that's what professors do. And a lot of time, really good professors have kind of hit their prime. They're not bored yet, but they're like getting really good at it. And they're still learning stuff. All right. So... Um, I'm just trying to figure out if, if you guys are trying to kill me or not. Um, and if so, um, is it just to cover up for the Austin bomber? Because you think that eventually I'm going to talk to someone that matters. And you think there's no way you're going to stop it eventually. That's the thing. I feel like everyone's going, all right, why is it the Austin bomber? Because that's the evidence. That's the evidence I know about. Like, I, I think they killed my pastor in front of the entire church to scare us. It was homecoming weekend. It was, it was intimidation. It was David Crowder Band's um, church. Like, I'm pretty sure David Crowder was there. I skipped because it was homecoming. I was like, there's no way I'm going to go. Um, I think they murdered him, and I, I think they've murdered a lot of people. And I, I think they murdered the Branch Davidians because they got pissed. I don't know if that has to do with drugs, but it probably does. Um, I don't know for sure, but I, I know that they were pretty— they, they, they wanted revenge on the Davidians, and it seems like they, what they did is they um, lit, started a fire, and then they didn't let them leave. Um, which is like a very, very large group of people. Like that's like a, that's like mass murder in front of the entire world by the FBI and the ATF a long time ago. But still, I'm just saying like, that's the way they are. Like they will cover up in mass, and you're in like we're all gonna sit there going, okay, what are we gonna do without these cops that um, get rich off the government and cover up in mass? I mean, they they they're like they're like unbelievable. Well, <clears throat> not all the cops are guilty. And um, they can hire people that are new. I mean, seriously, how hard would it be for me to be a cop right now? I'd be like a freaking expert right away. I can do like crazy cr computer forensics, um, like like looking through a computer and trying to find stuff that you don't you think's gone.